Well, at least they're starting to leave. I guess we'll save the cleanup for after the break. We better get that external fruit collector set up. Perfectly cooled in the snow and kept fresh, too. Uh huh. Get this. It's like we're inside and the fridge is outside. Mind blown? Sure. Good job. I knew it. Wonder if the others are leaving early, now that the road's cleared. Eh, might as well. I can't believe the calls push our Christmas party this late. Are you heading home early, too? Yeah, why not? I'm spending the eve with my sister's family. They don't live far from here. With their little brat, huh? Yeah, well, their little brat still got me a better gift than yours. Hey, at least I tried to get something for my partner. Unlike a certain somebody. Guess again. What is that? It's an ambient sound maker. It cycles through soothing background sounds, like the beaches or chorus of crickets. Check this out. It sounds like something I can do on my phone. Oh yeah? Well, this also allows for recording a custom track of your own to loop back. Just press record, and you can make your own custom ambient sound to work to. Again, phone. I guess neither of us are particularly good gifters. Hey, I'll still take it. Probably record Rob getting scolded to the custom track and fall asleep to it or whatnot. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, how about you? You got any plans? Well... <laughs> Come here, you little stud. <laughs> Is it the wine? Or have you been getting handsomer by the day? My dear, I'm as sober as a brick and you're still steaming like a hot bun. When I looked into your eyes just then, it's as if I'm hearing the gentle waves of the ocean. Oh, you naughty little vixen. If not for my back, I'd just pick you up and... Hey. Hey. It's snowing outside. Yeah, it sure is. Okay, I think that's enough for today. Yep. I'm heading out. You do that. Hey, Eva. Hey, Eddie. How's... No, 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 door! Oops. My bad. Ah, well. No biggie. Hey, uh, can you press the elevator button for me? Why? I thought you just pressed it. Yeah, but it seems like it comes up instantly almost every time you press it. That's silly. It's just luck. Well, come on. Just give it a try. What the? Thanks! Y'all 
all right, Roxy? Oh, hiya, Eva. Yep, I'm just waiting on Rob. His ride's under maintenance, so we're carpooling. Hey, Rob! You ready? Just a minute! Anyway, what you up to? Um, not much. Just heading home to have dinner with my sister's family. We always have our Christmas dinner together, and they've been waiting. Wow, how nice of them. The turkey surely wouldn't have stuck around had it been me. I bet. You got any plans tonight? Well, I gotta meet up with some folks later. But first, I got a date with the good old couch and ice cream. I'm gonna grab a whole bucket and scoop it, and then I'm gonna spoon it. Sounds like a lovely time. Yep, yep. Shoot! Not again! The door was open too. Better lock it away for good. I'm so relieved that we're finally getting a break. It'll be nice to spend some time with the family. Have a good evening, Lisa. You deserve it. Everyone does. Especially Willis and Tama. To be honest, I'm worried about them. Yeah, they do work way too hard for their age. Honestly, I don't think I'd be able to do theirs when the time comes. Corpse got our night covered by contract and all, but I still feel kind of uneasy. They're our competitor after all. Yeah, but I guess that's one of the few ways to get some reliable time off in this job. Besides, we'll be doing the same thing for them, so they'd better do a good job. Eva, about earlier... Hey, uh, don't worry about it. No, last, you don't understand. You see, sometimes when a man loves a woman... Oh, shush, you! Heading off? You're still here? Yep, and I'm staying here tonight. Wait, what? Everyone's heading home. What can I say? It's just the kind of hard-working Samaritan that I am. Coming through! Neil. Bob. It's Robert. Rob. Anyway, have a good evening at your sister's place. You're really just gonna stay here on the only break we've gotten in months? Yep. All this mansion to myself? Yes, please. All right, then. Hey, if you want... Hmm? Uh, never mind. Hey sis, I'm heading over now.
Yep. There he is. He's staying there all by himself. Why doesn't this like Christmas for you guys? Yeah, well, I don't know what he's up to. Hun, you shouldn't run to dinner. What? Don't be absurd. You're thinking too much into it, silly. I don't mean for anything else. Just for co-workers sake, you know? I know the guy. He's not one to come over. Anyways, get the dishes started, will you? I'll be over in just a bit. Okay, hun. I'll see you then. Ava, what was that? You okay, hun? Are you there, Ava? Ava, can you hear me? Yeah. I'll be there in just a bit. Okay, hun. I'll see you then. Shit ass fuck! How does that even? I'd better get down to the basement and reset the switch before someone sees. At least the elevator's on auxiliary power. I could reach the basement from the lobby. Facility, the power supply sure is unreliable. All right, let's get you booted up first. And now let's see what happened to you. It's almost as if someone did a manual shut off. Glitch in the system. Who's there? Was 
There you are. Power restored. How's the towel, hun? That helps. Thanks. What's wrong with you? Ain't nobody gonna whack my sister like that. Sheesh, it was an accident, alright? Your face was an accident. Do you just go around the office swinging a broom around all day? Look, I was in beast mode and you just suddenly appeared on my turf. It's not my fault I was born with such crazily fast reflexes. Why did you guys come over anyway? You don't want to ask. Staying all alone in the office on your holiday off? Who does that? It was her idea. Don rot it is. I ain't having no pardon of my sister sold by himself on a night like this. I wasn't so- You just shut up and listen. Ava called him some old friends, and we're all gonna have a nice dinner together. And you're gonna enjoy every moment of it. Wow, you kind of remind me of someone I know. There, there, hon. It's actually not that bad. What was that? Why is he still here? Shoo, shoo. Can I open a box, Dad? Can I? Go ask Aunt Eva. It's not ours. Dude, what's in the box? Eh, uh, we actually don't know. What? Yeah, come to think of it, those exact same boxes were here last year, too. Well, can we open them? No, I don't know whose they are. So they just sit here? Yep, that's what they do. I don't get it. Me neither. Man, Neil, we've only just got here, and you've already got Tracy all worked up. Workplace hazard, can't help it. Yeah, it's a dangerous place. I don't even want to imagine what you'd do with a mop. Our insurance policy forbids me from handling one. Oh, hiya! I thought you went home. Yeah, I thought so too. But as I was happily pigging out on the couch, Eva called and asked for a pickup. What? But she's already here. Hello! What the- Hi, Uncle Neil. The last time you two came by, you called me Poo Poo Face. That was Tommy. He's mean. Boo boo boo! Wow, that kid's growing up to be a lizard. Uh, sorry, Lily. It's been a while, Neil. Yep. Eva just dragged you guys right out of your loving home, huh? Oh, it's nice to come and visit. The kids were getting bored at home anyway. Wow, wow, wow. Let's go talk inside. We could be missing dinner by now. Oh, yes. I should go say hi. Thanks for having us over, Eva. Hey, I just hope I wasn't interrupting anything. Not at all. It's nice to take these two rascals out. Johnny's house has a beautiful view, but it's a bit remote for the kids to camp out at. They do get to play outside nicely, but I keep fearing they trip and roll down the cliff. Yeah, that'd be, uh, suboptimal. What is that? A beaver? It's Plat Plat! It's not mine, but Ma said I'm its caretaker now. I protect it from all evil. Can I see it? Are you evil? Not really. Hmm. Okay, you can have Plat Plat for five minutes. Yay! Plat Plat likes you! How can you tell? 
Because it's not trying to get away, duh! Hey, are you a real doctor? What do you mean? Like, do you do surgeries and stuff? No. Then you're not a real doctor! Do you listen to Dr. Dre? No? Me neither. But Neil says Dre's not a real doctor and he's still got mad respect. So back off. Hey, Jamie. What are you doing with that stuffed animal? Don't wuss out on me, son. Chillax, Dad. It's just plat plat. Feeling all better? I live. You know, Ava, hun. You gotta come over more. I rarely see you anymore. Well, winter tends to be our busiest season. Hopefully we'll get more of a break soon. Don't work too hard now. You know I'm always here if you need me. Hey, thanks for helping to drive Lily and the kids over. No biggie. As long as you'll hold up your side of the deal. <laughs> yeah, I got it. I'm serious. Two buckets of ice cream, no cheap outs. Yeah, Roxy, I will. Like, we're talking jumbo size here with a capital J. And when I say buckets, I mean buckets. As in, I want to use them as recycling bins when I'm done with them. Yeah, I'll... Where do you shop? Hey, has anyone seen Neil? We ran into him in the hall, but he didn't seem to follow us back in. Seems like he went back down for some reason. Why did you come back? I told you already. It was my sister's idea. You could have stopped her. What? Look, thanks for coming back and bringing the folks and all. But just... don't do something like that again. Do what? Where are you going? Home. I got things to work on. What the hell's wrong with you? I don't know what's going on there, but for pineapple's sake, loosen up. Those people came all the way out here to spend the evening with you. When was the last time you even had dinner with other people? My sister brought her family to keep you company. Even Lily and the kids came. You still remember them, right? You even made that stupid game based on that case. What are you gonna do when you go home? Go and eat a frozen pizza by yourself? Just give yourself a break for tonight. Sheesh. Anyway, I'm not gonna just stand out here in the cold tossing words at you. You do what you want. I'm heading inside. Just know there's a chair upstairs for you. Whether you're coming or not.
Well? Well what? That wasn't so bad, was it? Everybody had a good time. Yeah. I guess so. Hey, can you guys give me a lift? Neil says he needs- Hey, can you guys give me a lift? Neil says he needs the company car tonight. Sure, hon. Let's get you home.